So this is what it looks like on the interfacing when I drew what my design was going to be. And you can see how it's similar and yet slightly different. Um, I lowered, I actually drew here the original kind of location of this emblem and then I decided I wanted it to be a little lower because I wanted to kind of simulate what happens on the bra. We've got this really cool uh, stripe going up with the extra wa extra long bugle beads. So I kind of want to do something similar like that on this side of the belt and I'm going to use the extra long bugle beads for that. And just like on the bra, I wanted it to kind of like meet the emblem. So I lowered that emblem and then I've got a triangular stone that I'm going to put there and my swirls. Now unlike this original design, and you've probably been noticing this all around all along, her design had dark beads on one edge and silver beads on the other edge. And what happens is on the dark brown fabric, or the dark blue fabric, that kind of gets a uh, washed out like you can't you can't really see the shapes there so as I've been going along I've been outlining everything in silver on both sides and I did that on the back of the belt as well so that's what I'm going to be doing here now instead of doing these mustachios I'm actually going to do a a smooth line of the three three lines of beading that go through and then do a dip and then come through here. Now like I did before, I'm going to put on my foreground first and then fill in the background so it'll definitely look like these are in front of it, but I want the eye to think that this is a continuous line. So I was very careful as I cut it out to make this look like a continuous line and try to make this look like a continuous line because I, I think that'll be pretty. All right.